Hi, Jesus Professor here, and in this episode of Prayer 101, we're encouraging you to stop complaining and ask God for what you want. In the same way that there's a difference between a child complaining to a parent, I'm hungry, and the child asking, can we eat soon? There's a difference between a follower of Jesus complaining, I'm sick, and the follower of Jesus asking, Lord, will you please heal me? Other believers have become unwitting enablers when we infer a prayer request from what's really more of a complaint or merely a statement of information. Luke chapter 18 records that as Jesus approached Jericho, A blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard the crowd go by, he asked what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He called out, Shout Jesus from the mountains, and Jesus in the street. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my faith. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Those who led the way rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him. When he came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want me to do for you? Now, it was obvious that the guy was blind and he's crying out for mercy, but Jesus evokes, he wants to hear a specific request. So the man who was begging said, Lord, I want to see. Jesus said to him, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Immediately, he received his sight and followed Jesus praising God. Now, there's not much faith in a mere complaint or a statement of facts, but in telling God what you want, but in telling God what you want in terms of his specific supernatural intervention, there's an expression of faith in several things. One, you're expressing your faith that God exists. Two, you're expressing your faith that Jesus can perform the specific supernatural intervention that you're asking for. Three, you're expressing your faith that God rewards those who earnestly seek him. And four, you're expressing your faith that you're willing to listen and submit to a different path forward should some different path be God's will. So, when we bring our requests to God, or to each other so that two or more may agree together in prayer, let's stop complaining and express specific supernatural interventions that we'd like to see in each case. God knows our need before we ask. One purpose of prayer is to draw out our faith by being specific in what we'd like God to do for us. Another purpose in prayer is to then build our faith more and more as we see and testify to specific answers to specific prayer requests. Further, agreeing in prayer is more powerful if we agree specifically on what we're asking the Lord Jesus to do for us. Hi, suicide rates are rising rapidly. So most Jesus followers should prepare ourselves for a more active role in preventing suicides. We are on the front line since pros rarely get involved until a foot soldier helps connect people in crisis with trained professionals. E94.org is a Christian ministry 
dedicated to equipping the church to prevent suicide through free training of foot soldiers to prevent suicide through training, consulting, and resources. Get equipped to give hope and help and confidently refer people to professional counselors. Learn more at e94.org. Thank you.